You're studying for the SAT and you realize that you need some extra help and you decide to get a tutor. And think about tutors is that there are good ones out there, but there are also the bad ones out there. And the bad ones is just that they don't have enough experience and they're not intentionally trying to be bad. However, they are all equally expensive. They can go anywhere from 20 bucks an hour to, I don't know, whatever they want to charge. It can get pretty expensive. And because you're spending these hard earned incomes from your parents, I want to make sure that you guys get the best type of tutors out there in your area. If you get a bad tutor, there's a lot of things that could happen. First, your score's not going to go up. Second, your parents are not going to be happy. Third, you're you're not going to be happy. And fourth, most importantly, you're not going to go to the college of your dreams. The first type is going to be the easy, friendly going tutor. There are many reasons why people get a tutor, but I believe one of the main reasons is to hold you accountable. But if you get a tutor that's too nice and like won't do anything when you don't do your homework, then your score's never going to go up. You're never going to do the work and your score's never going to go up. All right, Jimmy, let's have a good class today. Hey John, I I, I didn't do my, I, I couldn't do my homework. I was just too busy over the we weekend getting drunk at the parties with my friends and it's just, I just couldn't do it. Oh, no, 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 it's okay, don't worry about it. I know you have life outside of tutoring and it happens. It's okay, just do it next time. Day two. Hey, 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 John. So, um, I, I, I didn't do my, I couldn't do my homework again. Um, just things happen, projects, homeworks, exams, feeding my cat, just things got in the way. Oh, pfft. no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll just, we'll just get it done next time. You see what I mean? Like your, your score is never going to go up. You, you need someone to like hold you accountable. Like when you don't do your homework, you need someone that can whoop you in the ass. Guys, simple rule in life is that if you don't do your work, your score is never going to go up. And if your tutor is not holding you accountable, then you're never going to do your work. And you're never going to do your work, then your score is never going to go up. Well, me personally, I want the best for my students. So whenever a new student comes, I make them sign this contract saying that if you don't do your homework, I can whoop you in the ass and you're not going to sue me. And for the record, I don't ever hit my students as long as the homework is done. And the second worst type of tutors is the exam tutors. These are the tutors that go through exams after exams after exams after exam. The whole purpose of tutor is to identify exactly what you're lacking in your current state. And once they have identified these holes, they have to like plug these holes in. But if you're not scoring 700 plus and they are going in straight into exams after exams after exams without covering any of the foundations, then that tutor is essentially wasting your time. So here's a quick guideline. If you're scoring anywhere under 700 on the math section, then you have to spend at least two weeks to a month. That's bare minimum covering the concept that you're weak. Like, you know, those plugging in the holes that you're weak on and then move on to the practice exam. So if you're under 700 and you got a tutor that's going after exam, after exam, after exam, you shouldn't be doing that right now. I'll link you to a video that outlines exactly what you need to do for your score range. So you can check it out after this video is over. Now, the third worst type of tutor is the tutor that gives you the answer right away after you get the question wrong. See, given that you have a strong foundation, you should be able to solve every single question that shows up on the SAT. But the reason that you got the questions wrong is because you lack the ability to put the pieces together and answer the question. And if you ask the tutor, hey, how can I solve this question? And the tutor tells you right away how to put the pieces together, then what's gonna happen is that you're gonna know how to solve that question, but you're gonna know exactly how to solve only that question. And if something similar shows up on the SAT, the tutor's not gonna be there to piece the pieces together for you. You're on your own. You wanna avoid this type of tutors because the purpose of tutoring is also to grow your ability to put the pieces together. And if the tutor is doing that for you every single time that you get a question wrong, then your ability is not gonna grow and you will never get better. I personally am also guilty of doing this when I first started tutoring. My first year of tutoring, I thought that was the right method to do. And I did that for every single one of my students and barely any of my students were able to raise their score. So if you're in a similar situation, just ask your tutor to, instead of giving you the right answer right away, just ask them to give you small hints. A small hint that will kind of move you forward, but that won't get you answered completely. She's gonna give you a little nudge and you're gonna have to work on solving the question on your own. And at first you might have to start with a lot of nudging because your ability to put the pieces together is not as strong. But as time goes on, as, as you do more tutoring, you'll realize the number of nudging that you get from a tutor, a little bit of hints that you get from a tutor is going to decrease and you will be able to solve the question on your own eventually. And to reach that state, you can't have a tutor give you the answer every single time. The tutor cannot put the pieces together every single time to get a question wrong. And those are going to be the three types of tutors that you want to avoid in 2020. If you currently have a tutor and you're really not sure whether this tutor is right for you, then just leave, it, leave your situation down below. I'll take a look and I'll give you my honest opinion on whether that tutor is right for you. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. For the stores, but frown when I'm not down to earth. Try to drag me like gravity, but I can never be down to dirt. Cause it took off and I found the words Time to get this amount of